Hey guys, what is up? Dana3 Midnight Games here. Today with an app review of Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I am currently running Minecraft on version 0.5.1. No, 0 0.5.0 alpha right there. And I'm just going to show you some, what is new and what what's different. So I'm going to show you the survival world. And yeah, I'm getting a bit of glare. Sorry about that. And as you can see right there. Second. So I'm going to switch my lighting. Okay, so now I'm back <clears throat> with my lighting switched. And as you can see, this is Minecraft Pocket Edition. Currently, I'm in survival, my own survival world. And it, there's nothing that different in survival except for how, like, the health bars are over there and the new items. So let's just go back. So for the new items that are now included in this app are the grass block, before it was just the dirt. This, the nether core block, glowstone, and also farming and such was added, including seeds, watermelons, and uh, that's pretty much it, and paintings. And let me just give you an example of paintings. Then you can set a melon pretty much. Then what this is, is a nether reactant core. And I do not know what it does, but apparently it's supposed to like react with the nether. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so for the second part of this review, I'm going to show you Minecraft Pocket Edition on the iPod Touch. So what this is, is... Pretty much just, I'm going to just get you guys an example, right here, and this is on the iPod and it is a lot smaller because this is not my iPod, this is actually my sister's iPod, but it's a lot different, I would say, like the colors and everything is are different like as you can see let me just load it up so here's the color on the iPod touch fourth generation and here is the colors on and these are the colors on the Samsung Galaxy S3 so that's pretty much the same spot. Let me just move over to like over here. There we go. And you're looking at the same spot there. Pretty much. And as you can see there is a lot of color difference. And that's pretty much it. And there's also co-op in this. So let me just give you an example of co-op right off here but it's only local Wi-Fi so I'm gonna join the game scanning for Wi-Fi games oh yeah forgot my Wi-Fi is off so yep so that's pretty much it the only disappointing thing that is in this update is that people were excited for flint and steel to be in creative but as you can see, there is no flint and steel in creative. They did not add that, so people are disappointed about that. And there's no uh, crafting or furnace. Like you can craft, uh, you can place crafting blocks and everything, like right here, and furnace blocks, but nothing will happen. You can see nothing's working. And there's also a crafting table. Nope. And there's also the lack of a bucket, which I think would also be quite useful. So I guess that's pretty much it. 
comment, rate, subscribe for more videos on the Samsung Galaxy S3 running Jelly Bean. Pretty much it. That's a zombie's picture. And I want to give a shout out to my friend Carlos, so comment, rate, subscribe for more app reviews, game reviews, and gaming videos and tips and tricks. This is Dan Op 3 